everyone, I got the kiddos in the background, and I wanted to show you how I made my pleater. I made this years ago on my Dear Pockets blog, but I got another, um, here it is. I got another box for y'all. This is brand spanking new from Amazon Prime, and I'm just gonna run through how I did this. This is the quick and dirty way to have a pleater box. Um, I would, I highly recommend having a pleater box, if you don't, then uh, all of your threads are gonna go everywhere when you start pleating and you're gonna have a hot mess in a hurry and you're just gonna be really frustrated, at least I am without a pleater box. So, what is he doing? Don't bother. Anywho, this is like 15 bucks. Um, it is linked down below and it's very similar to the one that I got 10 years ago or whatever. Um, the only thing you've got to modify is you've got to do some holes on the top and then you've got to have some sort of stop for your pleater. Well, you don't have to have a stop for your pleater. I haven't, I actually still don't have one on my pleater, but it's, I really would like one. So here we go. All right, so y'all are in my kitchen because I don't know where my soldering iron is. That's what I used to make the box way back when. I just took a soldering iron, a tip-up soldering iron, and I poked her through, and it works like a charm. So if you have one of those, by all means, use a soldering iron. If not, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my awl. I use this to make eyelets um, by hand, and I'm going to see if I can make this go through and give me some holes. Mm -hmm. 